Hey guys, Red Dog down in the dog house. You guys know what that is? Y'all ever seen one of those? That's called a hydraulic crimping tool, okay? And this is a crimper for cable. It's a cable crimper. So you can uh, install uh, cable tensioning wires on gates, on uh, stair rails, things like that. But this is a hydraulic cable crimper. Very cool tool. It's heavy duty, man. That baby's heavy. It's all there. It comes with all the dies that you would need. You go from 2.5 all the way to 5.0, 70. You got a four here. You go 16, two tens, and another six over here. So you cover the gambit of all the different cables. Uh, and it comes in pairs. And all you do is slip these dies into, this, into these jaws here and then use this pump right here to tighten and crimp the connector, the cable connector, and this is, this is what I'm doing here. I'm going to do these tensioners. These are cable tensioners. They use these for gates. They use these for uh, um, stair railings and things to tighten cable up onto stair railings and things like that. But uh, you can see the crimp goes right in here. The cable goes in there, and then you crimp this, and you use this tool to do it. I'm going to go set up a demonstration area for you and show you how this thing works. So you guys stay tuned, and I will be back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, how we doing? I'm out here. I've got one of my uh, cable tensioners uh, mounted onto my fence here. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. I've got my cable. One thing you want to make sure of, you want to have a good, clean cable. You don't want to have any frayed ends or it won't stick. It won't go in to the barrel of your tensioner, okay? So make sure that you got a good, clean end. Cut it off if you need to always cut your cable a little extra long just in case you have now here's the crimper one thing that you do is you turn it to on so it will tighten and check it make sure that it's pumping see this one's okay i gotta turn it to on and on right there okay it's coming coming together now you want to get pretty close right there and you want your dies are marked, okay? They have a stamp in them. You want to have your die marks on the same side, okay? Whenever you do this. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put the cable in here. And you got to be careful putting it in because you can fray it pretty easily. Down there, I messed up. I got to open up the jaws a little bit so I can get my crimper on there. There we go. You don't have to do too much. Then you put your crimper around it. Make sure that the valve is on. Hope y'all can see this. Let me go around the other side. Let me do it this way. Okay, here we go. Now, this is on my fence, so here we go. I'm gonna do it all the way at the end first. We should start getting a good bite here. Okay, there's a good bite now. Doesn't take a whole lot of tension. Boom. I mean, bam, that's done. Boom, boom. Ah. And you know it's done whenever you start feeling too much tension, okay? So there you go. It's in there, it's tight. That ain't going, that is not coming out of there. Nice, even crimp. Now, if you wanna, if you're if you're really needing some extra tension on this, you can actually go back to the back of this barrel and keep going. and add more crimps to the back. Let me do that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these even, evenly spaced so it looks good. Okay, there, I've got another crimp going. Doesn't take a lot of tension at all to get a good crimp. This thing does all the work for you. And there you go. And there's another good crimp. So now I've got double crimps there on this thing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw I'm going to draw this thing down to my other where I'm going to put my tensioner in. Now what you got is a turnbuckle. This is a turnbuckle right here, and see how it has the threads on it. And what you do is you set this up, and then you screw this in, and it tightens the wire up. You've got a, a hole right there. You put a screwdriver in. See the hole? And you put a screwdriver in it, and just twist it, and it'll tighten this up so your cable is nice and tight. Anyway, let me get this installed. I'll be right back and we'll get another one put in. Hold on. 
Okay guys, I'm back. I've got my other tensioner. This is the actual turnbuckle that tightens up your, your cable. I've got my cable here. I've got my other tensioner set. And I've got my length of cable set here. So I put it in there. And then I'm grabbing up my, my crimper. And I'm gonna start pumping on it. Here we go. Try to do one on the end first. All the way at the end. Now this is hard for a single guy to do because I need to have somebody really here to hold this, hold this cable while I do this, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna use the fence to pump my handle. There we go. There, now nah, it's getting in there. Okay, now the cable is in there. Good and tight. Can y'all see that? All right, now the cable's in there. Now I can do my release and I'll do one more down here. And I'll try to set it up. Now that I've got that in there, I can set it up so I can show you guys this. And see how it works. Okay. See how it's tightening up? Okay, here we go. Now she's starting to work. Ah, there you go. Loosen it up. And now you got two good cable crimps right there. Okay, now you take your tensioner and you screw it, screw it down like this so it takes the, takes the slack out of the cable. You gotta get a wrench and loosen that up, hold on. Put your little, they give you a little screwdriver that comes with it. You put that in there, take your wrench, you gotta back this off a little bit. All right, there. Now I can tighten my, tighten my cable up. There, that's loosened up the cable inside the, inside the turnbuckle so this doesn't continue to turn as you're tensioning. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me give it a couple more turns. This is really not a typical install. I'm just doing this as a demo to show you guys how it works. Okay, there you go. Bam, that thing is fiddle string tight and the cable crimp is holding good. I mean, that thing is on there. Those cables are not gonna let loose. Then you run up your nut on the other end, tighten it up so you don't lose your tension. Hold your little screwdriver in there to hold, hold the back up on it and give it a little nut. And you do that on both sides and you're done. And you're done. Kaboom, there you go. There you go, guys. Pretty simple install. You can see there, I got good crimps. Turnbuckle is set. The, the, the cable is. Pretty simple install. You can see there, I got good crimps. Turnbuckle is set. The, the, the cable is the cable is nice and tight. And there's my crimps. If y'all can see that, you can see the crimps. They look good. They're not gonna uh, you know cause cracks or anything in your connector, in your tensioner, and uh, nice and tight, and it looks good. Let me sit back here. You can kind of see what I did there. And one thing I'll use this for is this would be kind of, I'll use this for a wood crib. I can throw, uh, I can throw wood in behind this to hold it against, hold it against that fence. Whenever I have storage of lumber or whatever, I can use that. So it's not going to waste. <laughs> I had a little method to my madness, but I wanted to show you how this cable crimper works. It worked good. And uh, I'll be using this. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of these up on my fence. That way, if I need to stack, um, you know, profile lumber, two by fours, two by six, whatever, I can stack them in behind that cable. I can stack them in that cable along this runner here 
and have that wood where it'll stay in place. But anyway, that's what I got, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the demonstration and the review of this cable crimper, and uh, that's a good product. Works good. There it is right there one more time. Comes with all the dies you need, all the way up to 8-gauge uh, wire to do your crimps, and uh, a hole and a nice case so it all stays together. So that's cool, too. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Hope you enjoyed the review. Nice product. Y'all take care now.